the theme of this video is themes. It's pretty simple. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the theme designer in PowerDirector 17. If you think that the theme designer is a tool for you, I want you to put hashtag design my theme in the comment section below. Here we are in PowerDirector 17. The theme designer allows you to add photos or videos to templates with different themes. This makes it super easy to create professional looking videos in a snap. And in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to create videos using a theme designer. Let's design a video around a theme. First thing you want to do is click on plugins. And then you want to click on theme designer. Now there is an immense amount of themes. If you have power director 365, like I do, otherwise you can purchase them from the cyberlink store. And I'll have a link in the video description that you can use to pick those up. Now I'm going to pick a theme that I got for free from the PD template zone. Now I'll leave a link in the video description to that as well. And that link is called PD Santa Claus 2018. So you want to click on this check mark here to select it. And once you do down here in the sequence panel, you can see the different sequences and the different segments of the template that are going to show up in your video. So you can go ahead and click on one of them and then you can actually press the play button here to preview what it's going to look like and sound like, as you can see. And if you don't want some of these uh, segments in here, you can click on these little check marks and it'll remove them. So I'm going to check on that and bring it back in. And once you finish figuring out which ones you want, and which ones you don't want, and you're all done. Just click on OK. And then you open up the main theme designer interface and up here at the top, you can add more sequences. So if you click on that, it'll go ahead and bring you back to the screen that we were just on to select your themes and you can select more and add it to it. Uh, in this case, uh, you're going to click on cancel. The next thing we have here, there's these little arrows and these allow us to pick the different segments. So if you click on one of these, It'll go ahead and allow you to preview that different template or that different segment. And we're going to stick to this first one here. And after that, you have your background music. So for the background music, if you click on this little drop down, you can pick the default music that came with that theme. You can import your own music or you can choose to have no music. There's also this option here that has preferences. So if you click on preferences it'll open up another window and you can really be specific about what section of the music or how long you want your music to be you would actually trim the audio you can place your cursor where you want and use the mark in or mark out buttons or you could just drag the mark in and mark out icons to the positions you want and as you do all those changes it changes the current time of the playhead and then of course the current duration of the video based on or of the audio based on how long the audio is. Uh, you can change the volume, all these different settings here work. Uh, one of the, the more important things besides how long you want the music to be is the mix of the audio. So you can mix the audio that comes with any of your videos. So if you use videos in your theme designer, there will be audio with those in most cases. And if you want to hear that audio, then you want to move this slider over to the more video side. If you want more of the music that you put in here and you don't want to hear the audio in those videos, then you can move it over to the more music side. Once you're done with all that, you just click on OK. And here I'm going to go ahead back to the background music selection and I'm going to select no music that way. Next time I preview something, it's not going to be a bunch of music killing your ears. So next we'll go to the title settings and here you can go ahead and change the words that will show up. If you have a segment that has a title in it, then you can make it say whatever you want. And then if you want to see the title that you change, you can move your playhead over to the position where the title shows up and it'll show you the words that you put into the title settings box. 
So next, let's go over here to the media tab. So under the media tab, you have the all media drop down. So if you use this, it works the same way as in the media library. You can change this to just show videos, just show images, or show just 3D media if you want to. Now, if you want to get a frame from a video, you can select a video clip here. And I'm going to select this MP4 clip here. And when you do this snapshot button is enabled. So I'm going to click on that and it'll take you to a screen where you can select the frame. You can use all your frame forward, frame back, move your playhead where you want to get the frame that you want. And then you just click on the snapshot button. Tells me the frame that it's going to capture. I click on okay. And now there is the frame that was just captured. So you have a snapshot there that you can bring into the theme designer if you'd like to do so. Now, if the assets you want to use aren't in the media library, you can import them straight into the theme designer and into the media library. But before I show you how to do that, I want to remind you to subscribe to Power Director University to see great tips and tricks just like this every Saturday. And if you subscribe, don't forget to click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. Now, back to the breathtaking tutorial. Let's get to importing. So up here you have the import media button. If you click on that, it's going to open up a location on your hard drive or any connected device that you're using. Uh, you can go ahead and Go down here and select which type of files you want. And in this case, uh, you want image files. Once you're on this screen, if you want to select everything, just click in the area that has nothing on it. Do control A and it will select all of the items. And then you can click on open. And it adds all of those items to the media library and to the theme designer. So what you want to do now is add one of the images to the theme. So select the image that you want. In this case, I'm going to select Christmas Eve. I'm going to left click with my mouth, hold it down and drag it to this placeholder box. Now, if I move my playhead to a position where I can see it, you'll see that it is now in this segment. So the picture I selected is there now. Now, if you want to add effects, you can. If you click on effects, you have a bunch of different effects in here that you can add to any of these items that you add to the placeholder. So I'm going to do beating. So if you left click on that, and drag it onto the clip that you added, you will now see that you have an effects icon. And if you play it back, you should be able to see the effect Add it to the clip and you see it's beating there. Awesome. So if you click on this little icon, here's the duration icon. You can change how long you want the item that you selected to show up. I'm just going to click on OK. And then there's an effects icon. If you click on that, you can modify the effect. You can remove the effect. You can do all type of stuff with that. I'm going to click on OK. And then if you right click on this, you can also set the duration, modify the effect, or remove the selected clip. If you like everything that you've done with this first clip, then you can go ahead and click on the arrow at the top to go to a different segment to edit or you can just click on a different segment and edit it. It's up to you. Based on where the segment is and what settings it has, you may be able to add a background or select a transition. So for this one, we can select a transition. You can tell because it's not grayed out. If you click on this little plus button here, then you can change the transition to whatever transition you want. So I'm just gonna click on cancel. And when you're done setting up all your different segments with all of your background, your transitions, snapshots, 
effects, all of that loveliness. You just click on OK. And it sends the movie to your timeline. And that's how you make a dope movie using Theme Designer. If you decide that you like PowerDirector 17 and you want to buy or upgrade to the software, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Thank you.